Welcome back to Revy B, <laughs> Reverse Beastmaster. Uh, you have successfully procured a vast quantity of gag for the iguanas. You have put on an eerily pornographic, but still monetizable performance <laughs> for an elephant seal in a burning aquarium. And now you've found out the spider that summoned you here was something to do with an animal called the boss, who if rumor is to believed, is a snail. You've been told you can find out more about this in the pig catacombs to the far north of the zoo, where the pigs are sent to live in the dark. <laughs> it is a bad zoo. Some beef zoo for the brave. We smash cut to the entrance of the pig catacombs. It's very Indiana Jones. You all have flickering torches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're 250 each from the gift shop outside. <laughs> Who will venture down into the dark? I will. Go for it. You're going to lead the way? Yeah. I got this. So, from the depths, you hear... <laughs> and the sound of hammers ringing against steel. <laughs> They're building something down there. <laughs> you go uh, down rickety ladders and shafts, um, roughly hewn. The rock gets damper and more moss covered as you go down. Real dungeon vibes to this place. You feel you're deep below St. Beef's now in, uh, in what was maybe the ruins of a city that was built here once before. There are bones and pieces of old technology protruding from the walls. <laughs> what is this place, you think to yourselves? It's a circuit board on, a, on, a, on some sort of clamshell. Welcome to the pig catacombs, says a pig. So, What are you doing here? We are looking for a spider and or a snail. That's dangerous talk. We don't like your sort down here. You reverse beast masters. You can understand us. Yet you are cowards, beholden to our will. No sense of self-respect, as far as I'm concerned. Weird stance to take. <laughs> I just thought we were quite inviting. We've been nothing but polite. And we're a very easily solved problem. <laughs> you just tell us to leave. I'm not don't talking know. to this one. No, there may be use for you yet. You'll want to speak to Large Peter, I believe. He's the largest of us pigs. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Don't trifle with us, reverse beastmaster. The pig slaps you <laughs> with a trotter. Trifle or truffle? <laughs> right. right, you get one as well. <laughs> Two problems for both of you. You've been battered Do by we? a fish. Yeah. Oh, mate, I got brained. I lose social standing <laughs> for my bad punnage. I was scratched and brained. Oh, and I hate you as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're not talking. I'm, I'm not a fan of him, but for different reasons. No, no, I remember. Yeah, you all seem like pricks. So you are, um, you notice as you go deeper into the tunnels, led by this really mannerly pig, uh, there's like peccaries and warthogs dancing along by the flickering of the flames, singing a cautionary song. I dance along. Piggy, wiggy, doopity doo. <laughs> You're following orders from beasts in a zoo. Um, and, and stuff like that. Um, eventually, uh, a bit like that scene in The Hobbit where they come across the big English actor goblin, uh, you come into a chamber uh, containing Large Peter. Was it Big Peter? Large, large Peter. Peter. Large Peter. We're still not sure if large is an honorific or whether it is just descriptive. But... That's his first name. His second oh, okay. name is, is, is Peter. We did ask, in fairness. Like Andy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's his brother. Mr. Peter is, is, is truly colossal. Um, can I please get a roll from one of you, 2d6? Not yet. Two and two. So, Alex, you're going to be being... Large Peter, he is. Um, he has an accent of your choosing. Oh wow! Okay. Um, Irish it is. <laughs> and he has dreams of being a musician. Um, and if you can, if you can fulfil his dreams, 
he's going to introduce you directly to the animal who can give you the final piece of the problem. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peter. Sorry, Mr. Peter. How's it going? Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. <laughs> what are you doing here? We've come to help you. Help me how? Well, however you, however you, one, we're, we're reverse beast masters, but we've learned that there is a, s a snail, I think, we have to talk to, or a spider, one or the other. But I, I've heard that you're, you're, the, you're the man when it comes to introducing people to snails. And maybe if we do you a favor, you could maybe, you know, show us a slug. The that, slug. That's not a euphemism. We are actually looking for a slug. God, you're Ooh. massive. <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry, I meant you're a very long pig. I meant you're, you're magnificent. Uh, sorry. Magnificent, I'll take that, thank you. Um, well, you could help me. I've always wanted to perform a musical. A whole one. This again. Oh, okay. Oh. The pigs mutter to each other, I can't believe he's on this trip again. <laughs> Have you, have you got a particular musical that you're quite fond of? I love the Phantom of the Opera! Technically an opera, but we'll do you that one. <laughs> Don't argue with me, you know. No, you're right. What no, did you right. say? It's a musical. Yeah, it's a musical, isn't it? I think it's about an opera. Hang on. Andrew? I call over to Andrew Lloyd Webber, who's crouched naked bestial in the corner, <laughs> scratching himself. <laughs> <laughs> Just burning tax returns. Just me. It's a musical, isn't it, Andrew? <laughs> now close your eyes. <laughs> Obey the pig. Oh. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Do you have any requests for the role you want to be? Do you want to be the phantom or the lady? Or the opera. <laughs> <laughs> or the boat they ride in that one number. I don't think it's got many lines. <laughs> I Did want somebody say lines. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be the lady. Very well. Who wants to be the man? Debs. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> no, the 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 phantom. The phantom. Was the phantom, and that, I, I believe that I believe there's, there's also a second guy, who is less interesting. I mean that. Uh, I suppose yeah, that'd that be perfect like my for street, you, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> you big ass. I hate you. <laughs> oh, oh. The original pig looks wearied and says, But my liege, we've had this discussion so many times. We cannot perform down here in the catacombs. It would interfere with the great work. We must find a suitable auditorium on the surface. But if we're seen there, we may be driven back. All oh, right. <laughs> what about the, uh, there's the, 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 the big loud oval. The hypocalypse. Yes, the hypocalypse. It's, it sounds like a willing audience. Comes of a crowd, ready formed, which is usually the hardest part yeah, of the musical. Generally they're supposed to be on the outside rather than the inside, but we can make it work. Uh, it's going to be hard to monetize if they're already there as well. Humans, that's 40 hippos in one pond. <laughs> Of course! <laughs> a captive audience, then? On your own heads be it. They're quite rowdy, but if we do a good job, I think they'll be rowdy for us, am I right? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Come on, everyone! Yes! Yes! You phrased it as a question, so <laughs> yes! Andrew Lloyd Webber howling and smashing bones <laughs> on the <drums. laughs> <laughs> Lead the way! And somebody carry me! I'm fat as fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, going, we're going to grease the floor and push him up. I don't think I can lift him. Um, we can use his natural grease from his jowls. Ah! ah. This sounds like a task. This mm. sounds like a... Rapunzel, let down your jowls! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm a volunteer five, and so I'm used to pushing things and moving moving heavy items around in dangerous situations. Um, I'm just going to organize this whole corporate structure that we've got going on. This is a 16 magnitude task. Oh. He's, he's vast! Okay. I'm, yeah. I told you, I'm first. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, is there anything I can do? The number crunching and... Stuff. Do we reckon I could sniff out the really viscous oils? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would like to see if I can dip in to any 
map of the books they have here for perhaps the way the great work is being run mm. and see if they can afford to spare us some logs. So kind of like pyramid style, like, you know, when they move the big blocks of stone by rolling them on, on roll. Oh, okay, yeah. See if they can spare some uh, some logs of wood, which would bring in my chartered accountancy. I mean, they have anti-grav sleds. <laughs> oh, yeah, those, the those work as well. So, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Can they, can, I, but I, I can crunch the numbers and make sure that that's not going to bankrupt anything or... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how well you roll. If we've Go got on. it on an anti-grav sled, the well. grease seems less useful. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than a greasy anti-grav sled? Roll the bones! I got six. Few are useful. Here we go. Can I borrow one? Can I borrow a bone off someone? You can borrow this bone. Yeah, thank you. Ooh. I've got a beast mose. Oh, hey, also, I found these lawn darts. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favourite! <laughs> oh, I no! <laughs> he scrammed. That's why they banned them! <laughs> I scrammed six lawn darts. That's four. Oh, yeah. That is five beast successes. Mode. Oh, yeah, sorry. Beast oh, mode. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, I got six successes. Six for me. Five for Two me. Two problems. Oh shit, we solve it. Huh? Wow. You, yeah, you smashed it. Oh man, thanks Antigrav. Basically, yeah, with the Antigrav sled, and uh, you use your management power, you don't find any decent grease, you don't need it for the sled, but what you do do... Convince them I did. <laughs> and... Uh, However, um, due to the problems that I received, the... Areas in which I was searching caused a real rift between me and Large Peter, and I've, a relationship is just wrecked. You suck. <laughs> we can <laughs> we can never really look each other in the eyes again. <laughs> yeah, you you pushed right in his bum hole. Um, <laughs> his finger. Fair enough. <laughs> he despises you. Um, you can be as cruel as you like. Um, so bear that in mind, Large Peter. Oh, I can punish him. Oh, he's anti-grav. No, oh, yeah, like, like, imagine he's still heavy. Oh, yeah. Like he's flopping over the sides of the anti-grav. Inertia's yeah, a thing. Oh god, we're just carrying jowls and, and <laughs> side pork. Side oh, pork. <laughs> oh no, the zookeeper in the distance. We must. We must make haste. The zookeeper, like the big sphere from the prison. <laughs> Quick, if we just push, we can probably just jump on the pig and ride him all the way. Down the hill? Sounds good to me. To the Hippocalypse. Yeah, as dust shakes from the roof of the catacombs, uh, like set unsettled by the zookeeper's ponderous footsteps, uh, you breach into the sunlight, suddenly dazzling, um, and the anti-grav sled crests the hill and then starts to coast down. Now, sing! The fall of Wait, am I the woman? Yeah. The fall of the opera is there. That was amazing. That's pretty good, actually, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's the Phantom of the Opera. I can't believe he volunteered for this role. Yeah. I've actually sung that part. <laughs> <laughs> then it's very important that you don't get the role, then. <laughs> I'm going to lay it on the line. I've, I've, I've just heard that song, and that still qualifies me. <laughs> Anyway. Phantom, phantom, phantom time. <laughs> so Large Peter's getting really want, but you still need the audience. Now the sled is heading towards Hippocalypse. Okay. Um, now you can't slow down because you see what looks like a mountain of salami sweep through the sky behind you. It's the zookeeper's hand making a slow <laughs> swipe. It's bigger. <laughs> it's just, it, it was like watching, like, you know, um, the sheer immensity of seeing a mountain. It really, like, sky filling. Okay, yeah. Huge hand, big horrible hand. Um, you almost can't believe it's part of a living thing. Oh, don't. So. I'd like to use our 16 successes from before and smash through the wall, clean into the middle of the hippos, please. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be, uh, is that a hold my beer? No, I'm gonna use my 16 successes from before. Oh, the 16 successes from? That we all rolled, yeah. To yeah, get, to, I guess you've, you've got an excess. Do you wanna smash through the wall? Sure. Yes. I think so. All right then. Sing. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the unholy harmony of your voices reaches the resonant frequency of the Hippocalypse. Um, and one wall just crumbles in an avalanche. Um, you coast over the rubble uh, and meet an enormous tidal wave 
of shit and piss. Um, it's 40 hippos in a pond um, after the tidal wave. Lose it out. <laughs> no! No, they just top it up. Um, and all these hippos come flooding out in a wall of yellow tusks and like bloodshot eyes. Um, it's troublesome. What are you going to do? I'm going to shelter on top of large Peter. As they swing past, I'm handing out customer comment cards <laughs> to get their, get their ideals on how well they went the show went. Uh, that's going to be a hold my beer roll for you, I think. Um, do, how does your job or passion help this? Uh, well, basically, I'm going to use customer feedback to, to try and really shake things up in this, in this biz. That's not anything any management consultant has ever done. Also, you don't work here. Uh, look, can anyone here actually tell me what a management consultant does? No. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm just surprised. Six dice I'm just surprised. <laughs> work it out. I'm just surprised that you didn't go for smells because it's like it smells terrible in here. I want to hear their voices and see if I can improve it in some way. E.g., making it fewer smelly. I feel like the the smells really aren't going to help. <laughs> so this is a ten magnitude task. Is you're trying to get hippos to tasks. see reason, but withhold my beer. Don't forget your successes. And beast modes are counting for double strength. So we need to roll That's five. true. Do it! Yes, <laughs> isn't it? Oh! That's... Okay. It was falling off the table. I'm not sure. How <laughs> dare you, sir? It was falling off the table, so I stopped it spinning. <laughs> I don't know what number it was on. Okay, so those are all technically problems. Here's a beast mode. Yes! That's three, that's three, so that's, oh, that's six successes. So you've got six successes, mm -hmm. there's four left on the challenge. Does anyone want to assist him? Absolutely not. <laughs> I want to see him get trampled to death by hippos. So, yeah. take your problems, and also a hippo eats your hand. Yeah, I'm grievously wounded, is what I was going for, so I think that oh, probably yeah. clarifies. <laughs> yeah, you failed. The hippos do not want change. They're completely institutionalised. They like things the way they are. But I also like to think that the one person who was sort of up for it, I handed the customer comment card out, and the only way that he could grab it was by chomping it off my hand and accidentally took my, my digits with him. He gives you a really quick look to say, yes, I value the fact you looked for my feedback, <laughs> and then swallows your hand and roars. Do you feel heard? <laughs> we feel like a herd. Hey! <laughs> well, Large Pizza, did you have a good song? Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm, Thank you. I'm glad we could help. I hope, I'm really worried now about the giant zookeeper. But where's this bloody snail? So, Large Peter, you can choose any enclosure in the zoo to send them to, uh, to meet this snail. All right. Well, you're not far from your goal. You need to go to Mount Longness. <laughs> <laughs> To go see what you seek. <laughs> Thanks, Large Peter. Are we cool to just leave you here? Uh, yeah, I like dirt. Hang on, it's, <laughs> it's your big number. I want to give the anti grav sled a big kick and just start going, listen to the music of the whatever the song is when they're boating. <laughs> just like bonk across the shit lake. Yeah, I don't remember the shit lake. But it, it really it's more adds like to lots the of candles and it's wending. And yeah, yeah, I know. But it's very I dynamic. Know what, right. <laughs> That's a. Uh, that's a hold my beer. Ah, uh, yes, okay, fine. <laughs> Completely uh, unnecessary as well. You completed the task, but I respect this. I'll find a reward for you. Thanks. Don't suppose accountancy or lawn darts will come into this, so... Yeah, 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 no, lawn darts, accuracy. you're good at precision, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course, okay, good. Phew. Mm. Oh, there's a hold my beer roll, isn't it? These are all four problems. Yeah, that's four problems. Four uh, problems. Yes, you know. nice. Oh, so... Yeah, yeah, there. Beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> so that's six. Like more problems. Six oh, problems wow. and two successes. Yikes. Uh, so. Well, it was a four magnitude task, so you've done it. Just. You slip in the hippo shit, and what happens? <laughs> How many problems are there? Six. six. So two, two <laughs> triples. Cool. All the shippo, the shippos? <laughs> the hippos just shouting, <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I think, okay, so I'm gonna slip on the shit and like hit my skull on the floor, just like proper, you know when a toddler goes down oh, yeah. and everyone goes, oh, whether they care about kids or not, mm -hmm. that. And uh, everyone's 
so concerned, it triggers a stampede. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was that, that already that stampede of hippos. Yeah, but it changes direction back over, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, oh, sh we wanted to get away, but is he all right, actually? <laughs> well, yeah, the hippos were going to go back in Hippocalypse, because like I say, they're institutionalised. They want back in the pond. Yeah. But now they've sort of been driven wild by freedom and seeing your suffering. Uh, and they're just smashing into the wall of Primate Supermax, uh, which is across the road. Cool. If they break through that, all of the chimp criminals <laughs> and like the, like, the gambling gorillas and stuff are going to get out. And, well, the zookeeper will not be happy. Things are on a timer. You've just, you've, you've lit a fire under the arse of, of St. Beef Zoo for the brave. Does, does perhaps one, zip, one hippo come up and have a word with um, Giles in particular? Is it Anthony Hopkins? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> you really battered your head there. Uh, yes. Uh, no, I think I'm okay. Right, now look, everyone else has been a total shit to you. <laughs> I'm only going to do this once, but I'll... listen to me, right? Listen to me. Yep. I want you to find the best qualities within yourself and make the most of your life, all right? Yes, I suppose. I mean, it seems like sc scant help. He struggles no, to find like, anything. Yes, yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'll give you a fucking instruction. Oh, sorry, yes. Right, now, piss off. All right. I sort of I wander off, sort of clutching at my side of Plexus as if I can find the best qualities in myself. God, you By suck. gently kneading my, <laughs> my ribs, like... Your passion has changed. You realise lawn darts has been a complete waste of a fucking life. <laughs> Fair. Your passion is now self-confidence. <laughs> given to you by a South African hippo that ordered you to believe in yourself. Uh, I'm going to walk straight out of, um, of Hippocalypse. I'm gonna shove Henry and go, you got any of that gack left? About that. <laughs> <coughs> About that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I don't need it anyway. Ooh. He's on nature's gack. <laughs> so, uh, you lead the way. Uh, you part the walls of piss and shit like a sort of a scatological Moses. Um, and you all walk through as large Peter can like waves his trotters at the sky and sings and the hippos assault a prison for primates. Um, you walk towards Mount Longnose where a lone elephant trumpets mournfully and ominously. Uh, smash cut to the gates of Mount Longnose. There's an elephant in a robe. Massive monk vibes. Greetings, travellers. <laughs> We have this What do you think? Snail. You want to speak to the boss? Yes. He called us here, I think. Well, in which case then, you'll have to accomplish a task. <laughs> Can I just point out, by the way, I'm very impressed by your nose. Oh, thank you. You're quite nice. Yeah. Uh, it's got some supreme smelling ability. And you would know, I suppose. Yeah. Your nose seems quite brown right now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted! Do you want in this fucking mountain, you tweed-wearing prick? <laughs> wow, this new confidence is so sexy. <laughs> oh, speaking to me now, are we? <laughs> the snail lies at the peak of Mount Longnose. The throat of the world, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but as for the task, you'll have to speak to my brother, Snooty Jim. <laughs> so let's get some characteristics for this elephant. Um, give us some dice. Six and four. Snooty Jim is um, he's a real beast, male African elephant phenomenal specimen, tusks like girders, uh, but he's faintly apologetic. Um, he knows the contract between animals and reverse beastmasters, um, but he feels embarrassed about the whole thing. Um, give me another roll to see what he wants. Two. He's also a sadist. <laughs> this is going to be awkward. <laughs> hello. Ah, so sorry, hello. 
Hi. <clears throat> How's it going? Here's a troubled song. <clears throat> it's okay. What was the name again? <laughs> Nate? Snooty Jim. Snooty Jim. Jim. Snooty? Mr. Jim. Anyway, <clears throat> apparently you have a job for us, and then we can progress to the next part of the game. Yep, simple job. What is it? Uh, sort of pick up a bottle from a pile. Okay. Jump on that barefoot. <laughs> uh, right now. I guess I have to. Shh. <laughs> ah, are you okay? <laughs> Hang on, I'll find out. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... I know this, this is a system of inequality and that I'm complicit in it, but however I find it exhilarating, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You know, Jim, you're a weirdly nuanced character. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> oh. ah. He's allergic to beer and cider. With his trunk, he's shouting out of his trunk. <laughs> It hurts him to exist. <laughs> anyway. Jim, um, you can show us where the snow is? <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's up there, it's up there. Uh, um, uh, okay, here's the thing. Uh, it's simple. Uh, <laughs> so I just lean across and just, like, smash Henry across the face with my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Can you take uh, D3 problems, please? <laughs> oh, no, D3. As in roll 1D6 yeah. and half oh. the result. Sorry, for, for some reason I thought he's a 3D. Oh, <laughs> Just battered for 18. One problem. There you go, it's alright, innit? Um, I should like to try and climb Mount Long Nose. Let's just, let's just tick up the old stampede clock. Excellent. Okay. Let's get that ready. So, scaling Mount Long Nose, who's with you? Um, I'm coming. Yeah. Mm, yeah, let's do it. I'm a big sexy fireman. Got the so climb and shoes. Climb things, obviously. Yep, this is us. Oh, this is a 12 magnitude challenge. It's actually on the map. Beast mode. Oh, double beast. Wow. Ba -ba 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 beast mode. Oh, that was a five and then it fell off. That one will uh, <laughs> I'll allow. That's three successes from me. Two from me. Three from me. We are on the side. Eight. Oh, eight, yeah. We are, we are. 90 we're, degree yeah, angle. We're <laughs> swinging to the side. <laughs> Snooty Jim is just hurling bottles at them. <laughs> like, get out there! Oh, I'm sorry! Uh, but, uh, do you know who I am? Snooty Jim is like individual matches and holding them underneath our toes. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the service! <laughs> you're nearly at the top, you're nearly at the top, mm. but you look at, you're, you know, you're easily one and a half kilometers up now. Um, <laughs> <We're in basecamp. laughs> And you look out, and you're level with the zookeeper's navel. Oh, no. What are you doing? No. He's speaking to you. The zookeeper has your attention. Now, if he starts moving his arm now, it's probably going to take two and a half minutes to get there. Mm. Thankfully, we don't have to take orders from him, him unlike every NPC in the game. Oh, yeah. No, you don't respect him at yeah. all. I, uh, I, I, I flip, him the, flip him the Vs. You... Bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna shimmy up the side of the mountain. How All right. far away is he? Are you holding my bearing it? Uh, yeah, why not? I'll hold my bear. The zookeeper? Yeah. About three and a half miles. Well, oh, sorry, I'd like, I'd like everyone else to... Like, I'm, 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 lead, I'm leading the group. Yeah. So can I hold my bear and finish off the successes needed? Yes. Yeah, you know, I'll lay a rope plane. Not with that roll. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine, I get four, so that's enough. Um, Just a few problems, though. Also, oh, wow. Are you quite damaged? Uh, well, I'm bitten, scratched, and clawed, and brained, and that old stampede clock is a ticking. So what happens is you go up. There's some wasps on the surface of the mountain. Get let us sting you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just, just, just try and keep the elbow. I have to go to work with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to expose my wrist. <laughs> But you do get to the top, you lay the rope, and you climb up after him. And there, on a tiny, there's a stack of pebbles. You know, like the, uh, the meditation sites by Japanese roadsides. It's like that, and on the top of them is a snail. <laughs> well, well, well. You've done it. <laughs> you found me. 
the boss. It was me who sent the spiders, you sick. Were so, you were so hard to reach. Yeah, well, I needed to know you were worthy of what comes next. <laughs> I don't know which eyes to look at. <laughs> we're we're going to take down this fucking zoo. You remember the plan, right? And now we enter the prelude to the finale. So, we're going to need more socks. We flash back now to um, the night before the spiders were sent. The snail, the boss, has hatched a plan to finally overthrow the zookeeper and take down the zoo. But all the animals are kept isolated from each other, so they've had no time to plot together until one night, the zookeeper gathers several of the animals together for one of his immense bollockings. <laughs> and he's been shouting at them for six hours, just berating them, just, you know, absolutely talking them down, really demolishing uh, their, their belief in themselves. Um, but he, he says, right. Right. I'm going to make a cup of tea for seven minutes. <laughs> I'll carry on telling you off. And he walks off to, I don't know, the sea. Um, <laughs> so the animals have got exactly seven minutes. I'm going to set a stopwatch. Um, and I'm going to be playing the snail, but I'm going to let you talk this one out. Uh, so you are the elephant seal. Yep. You are Large, Large Pete. Peter. Peter. You are... Uh, Snooty Jim. And you are... Big ones. So uh, when I say go, I'm just going to get my clock. I've forgotten my accent already. <laughs> I think we should make it four minutes. Uh, at points it was South yeah. African, at points it was... <laughs> it was just sort of like this, I seem to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of like four minutes. So after four minutes, there's going to be a phasing out period of one minute as the zookeeper gets closer and closer. <laughs> I'm going to act this out and it's going to make it harder and harder to plan. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, and so once you've got this plan, we'll jump back into the game. You'll all nod and say, yes, we understand the plan. And then as your animals, you will guide the players one action per animal. So each animal can give one instruction and you've got to achieve the snail's objective in those four actions. Are we ready? Sounds good to me, boss. So, what's the plan? I've just about fucking had it with this zookeeper coming around here and taking away my nose candy. Ah, same! I hate it. Listen, simple economics. If we destroy the gift shop, yeah. there'll be nothing to pay his wages! Smash a wall. God, you're ingenious! Uh, sorry. How are, we gonna, how are we going to do it? Fire! Can anyone make fire? What about oh. you, Elephant Seal? Well, I've got this incredible plan about putting on a pornographic display. Oh, in Jesus, not this again! We're not wait, ruining wait, a gift shop, wait, we've come! Wait. <laughs> well, let oh, I me mean, don't rule it out, boy. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. Punch the Elephant Seal in the face. <laughs> I'm getting to the good part. <laughs> For some reason, I can't really explain it right now. But halfway through the pornographic display inside the aquarium slash management consultant building, there will be a fire. If we can just spread that out over to the gift shop, we'll be golden. Ingenious. So we carry the fire in big buckets. Oh, my maths, come on. We carry the fire in big buckets. Or we get these rubes who are coming over. Isn't that right, boss? Well, hold on, because in between the consult aquarium and the gift shop is Primate Supermax. How are you going to deal with that? Well, we could release a load of fucking hippos into it, mammy. <laughs> yeah. And what then? You're big enough to knock down the wall of the uh, of the hip hip apocalypse. Yeah, I'll just run into it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna be singing? Oh! What? What are you gonna be singing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> popular from Wicked. Wait. No, that won't do. It has to be something that could be either misconstrued as a musical or an opera. Andrew Lloyd Webber, have you got any fucking ideas? Sharp, 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 sharp. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that? You've got. You see what your brand says on your side? You ever read it? Can you fucking read? No. 
It says 24601, you daft fuck! 24601, what's the significance of that? <laughs> it's miserable Les, isn't it? It's the one! Don't worry about that real sad bugger called Leslie. <laughs> Leslie Miserable! <laughs> ah, Leslie Miserable, yes, a hero for our time. So, we crash down Hippocalypse, you're singing the song, and then... And then, the, the, so all the hippos will fuck up the Primate Supermax, causing a, a, a nightmare destruction. And all we've got to do is get them stupid humans to carry buckets of fire through four increasingly difficult scenarios <laughs> and then pour them out in the gift shop, ruining everything. So what are the four scenarios? I need you each to give me one. You like pain? Why don't you start? <laughs> well, first off, We've got the aquarium. Uh, consult consult aquarium. aquarium. We've got. We've got to get out of there, which is difficult because of all the water that's in the walls. And then from there, um, bird eye. <laughs> apparently. Why didn't someone else talk about that one? I feel like I'm monopolising the time. Well. Oh shit! He's coming back. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, well, well, think about it. If we've got lots of fire in buckets, perhaps the birds can help us carry them. But we definitely have to convince them. Okay, sounds good to me. What about you? Uh, ah, ah, I was kind of hoping I'd be just rushing up the gift shop with everyone else. Uh, okay, you can do the gift shop. Okay, well, then this. Right then, you. <laughs> Pieces of fucking Come on, what are you gonna shit. do? Oh, 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 I'm destroying I'm the private supermarket! I'm running into that! I've had enough of your fucking bullshit. <laughs> and scene. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. That was so drama. That was drama. That was HBO quality, man. Oh, yeah, oh. absolute season seven. On the mountaintop now, you see around you, obviously, uh, Jim has managed to scale the peak following your rope, um, licking your blood off the rocks as he goes. Um, the iguanas are there in a little wagon, I guess, that they, they're like a mobility scooter they used to get around. Um, <laughs> I'd like to imagine it's pulled by a luckless, hitherto unreferenced be reverse Beastmaster. Yeah, oh, that's really sad and good, yeah. <laughs> and the stereo only plays round, round, get around, I get around on loop. <laughs> But it's a Chaz and Dave cover of it. <laughs> we got the tape stuck in there, we can't get it out. <laughs> but we like it. Um, and then Large Peter's there, um, just absolutely flushed with joy from his performance. And of course, the elephant seal, horribly burned. <laughs> with, I guess it. he's used a jetpack, um, which he's taken from the, the pig's great work, of course. Mm. Uh, so they're all there, assembled on the mountain, and the snail crashes out of the flashback. So, everyone still remember the plan? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> yes! I, if I just bet I could have done this, couldn't I? Rather ah, than soiling my ass! I skinned myself! <laughs> <laughs> so, who's first? Uh, if I remember it, 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 it was us, sir. Go on then, Iguanas, you lead the way. Let's get this done. Take your socks off, you horrible bastards. I'm the animal at the moment. <laughs> All right, get that, get that fire in some buckets, you horrible bastards. Get it out of the wet place and take it down to the valuable place. Sorry, can I just, can I just clarify? No! Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jump off the mountain, you slag! <laughs> oh, he's jumping off the mountain. Right, oh uh, God, he has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brutal. It's, it's three kilometers high. Wah, 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 wah. Oh. Ooh, only one problem. Well, <laughs> the problem is, it's a three kilometer <laughs> drop. Uh, what do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going to ask for a re-roll there, because the magnitude of this task, this is a hold my beer, mm -hmm. it's magnitude 10, mm -hmm. and the challenge is not getting obliterated by a three kilometer fall. Listen, I've been a lot in a lot of collapsing companies, and I've always come out on top. I, ho I hope he dies. <laughs> Let me tell you, there are some lots of people who are a lot less well off than I am who are definitely suffering as a, as a part of my actions. And I feel like that's a skill that I've honed over the years. So here we go. So, you're going to need five successes. Oh, no. Not looking good there, Doc. That's two successes and two problems. Okay. Um, I sold my beer, so it's four problems. 
Yeah. That's four problems. <laughs> and the task was not getting obliterated. So what's grievous injury is worth three. So seven problems. Okay. Um, so luckily, as I was falling, I did manage to land quite near to the to the place where all the fire is. Unfortunately, then I caught fire. Yeah, um, that makes a lot of sense. It's like the jump I'm at the it. beginning of a PUBG match. You've yeah. sort of steered yourself and landed in the bucket store next yeah. to the aquarium. <laughs> a bu your head Buckets. is wedged in a bucket. <laughs> uh, and perform an HMB. Is that perform and hold my beer action? You've got to do another one immediately. Is that me running out of the fire? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so that then happens. Um, but as I'm doing that, of course, my screaming and stamping has triggered a stampede of all of the angry criminal apes that I'm now surrounded by. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the stampede is as you the, your landing caused the seismic shock mm. that makes the last block crumble from the wall of Primate Supermax. The like the solitary the confinement keystone. wing. <laughs> Imagine the wind, but it's gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what comes out of Primate Supermax. And it's like, you know when two wizards are like fighting each other and it's like, <laughs> and there's like this sort of thing in the centre. Imagine that with gorillas and hippos. Got it. Got it. That is, it's, it's like World War One. What am I rolling? Uh, you got to do it. Another hold my beer action to get through this hell. Okay. With buckets of fire. I don't think any of these skills are going to help. <laughs> so I, I reckon it's just a three, right? Yeah, I mean, this is only a this is a, a two magnitude task, so you can probably do it. I mean, it's just running out of a fire. Yeah, I'll do you one problem, uh, a success in a beast mode, which becomes another beast mode, oh. beast which mode. becomes a problem. So that's three successes and two problems. Yep, that sounds like it. Okay, well, I'm one away from being caught by the zookeeper, and then I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but. Players, don't forget, the last special rule of Reverse Beastmaster, if a player fills up their problem track entirely, they get a special deathbed scene. And in that deathbed scene, they get to finally snap and give an animal an order that it must obey. So, we could see that happen. You have run out with buckets of fire. Um, <laughs> fire buckets, please. Fire buckets, yeah. You're, you're... I'm, I'm sort of sweeping the fire off me and into the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> There's like gorilla <laughs> bits of my skin. flying. There's hippos lunging over you. It's like, uh, it's like a Zack Snyder slow mo scene <laughs> where you're just like, like ballying your way through. Like 300. Yeah, yeah, it's like 300, but very. Is it like a Zack, a Zack Snyder slow -mo, slow mo scene, but in dizzying full motion? It's not slowed down at all. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just happening and you can't really see. <laughs> it's twice as fast, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's sped up. Yeah, there's like piss on the lens and <laughs> like, yeah, it's bad. But congrats, you've done it. I will, um, I will be waiting, ready to grab those buckets of fire. And Relay system. Yeah, and run them through the Primate Supermax. Okay. I'm a volunteer fireman, so I reckon this is useful for me. All right then. And I can't work romance novels into it in any way. Are you holding your beer? Yeah, I'm holding my beer. Well, someone else has to hold my beer. Yeah, yeah. How, yeah. Okay, hold this. <laughs> but wait. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Before you continue, mm -hmm. you ought to know. Yeah. Breaking into Primate Supermax is usually a 24. The walls are already shattered, so it's only a 12. Okay. But I've got good news for you. Okay. You also read, you re just remembered mm -hmm. that you read Forbidden Love at Twycross. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the one where the guy fucks a gorilla, isn't it? Yes, I remember that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, this somehow is familiar from romance novels. Be smart. Good lord. Wow. Uh, okay, yeah, I do it. <laughs> What's your total That's score? That's doubled as well. Uh, so, uh, 18. <sighs> so, do I die? Nearly. <laughs> but it was one of the most powerful yeah. deaths we've so, ever witnessed. So, um, I, I hand off the buckets to, um, it's you, isn't it, next, I think? Yeah. Hand off the buckets to you next. Um, and then I am caught by the zookeeper <laughs> with, his, with his giant fucking sausage hand, kind of. So as you run through um, Primate Supermax, a, a chimp with a big scar riven through one eye says, Oh, look at that. 
and you look I, up. I can't not. Yeah, you just look up <laughs> and see the zookeeper's hand like a second planet descending <laughs> towards you. <laughs> and he just snatches you up and he's holding you like a tiny struggling crisp and he holds you up in front of his face. And that's where we're going to leave you for now. Okay. Um, so the buckets are passed on to... To me. You must run the gauntlet through Birdheim. <laughs> oh, no. It's uh, an, a Norse-themed aviary. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's Valhalla, but with pelicans, essentially. Okay. Um, you hear, like, the clashing of, like, Wagner um, and, like, the, the, the you know clinking of tankards against each other and swords hitting swords as you walk under the enormous timber arch that leads into bird height. They've wanted ravens, but they could only get lesser COVID, eh? so they called them Ragnaroks. <laughs> <laughs> it's niche. I like it. What animal do you hate? Beavers? Yes. Oh, you aren't one of our bird haters. That is a shame. No, sorry. Mm. Lucky, I guess. Well, I guess that's going to make this role easier for you. It was going to be... Uh, a 14. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm just coming up with this now. Uh, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it uh, a 10. And I've only got three dice. <coughs> well, it depends. Well. Unless I can use quizzing in this. It does say Ask you... them who's a pretty poly. <laughs> <laughs> it does say you run pub quiz. <laughs> uh, that's true. And I live at home. <laughs> <laughs> Where your parents have lots of birds. We have like, lots like, of birds like, at home. Odin like riddles, didn't they? Yeah, I was going to say, as you're about to sprint in, a cassowary with one eye <laughs> swings round. <laughs> and asks you a series of questions about Norse mythology. Are you up to the challenge? Yes. What was Fenris? What? A wolf. <laughs> what were Odin's ravens called? Hogan and Ninnan. How many realms are there? How many what? How many realms are there? This is also Nine. Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> That's good. You've helped the cassowary. Get another six dice. Treat yourself. Oh. It's two for each uh, question answered. Oh, wait. Six. All oh, yeah. So nine altogether, yeah. But you're holding your beer, so this could be catastrophic if you get a few failures. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Whew. That is a lot of problems. That is quite a few problems, yes. Ooh, so seven six, problems. It's six, six passes. Successes. Yeah. And it was an eight magnitude challenge. <laughs> that's great. So that's seven or six. 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 Okay. So something. Fire, fire some, is stuck in Birdheim. Something catches fire. Birdheim is on fire. Yeah. It's all made of um, extremely resin soaked pine wood. I suppose at that point you could just take the fire from Birdheim and put it in the gift shop rather than using this bucket fire. Oh, yeah. It's very true. Yeah. But yes. are ineffective anyway. So yeah, help us, help us out. What else has happened to you? Um, just getting closer to a stampede, but not quite a stampede yet. Yeah, and um, I think a kestrel says you'll never amount to anything. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. And it's got a horned helmet, and you try to tell it it's inaccurate, and it pecks you. <laughs> wow. It's a bad day for you. Turns um, out it's a big, just a big Skyrim fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's our final action. It's time. Everything comes down to this. You gotta do this. Birdheim is blazing. The gift shop lies ahead of you. The zookeeper is holding... Reese. ...and eats you. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. You've been eaten by the zookeeper. You're not dead yet. Oh, no, he's just... You're like a grape in his mouth. Oh. Um, oh, God. So... I'm, I'm going to kiss him. On his teeth? Well, in his mouth. Okay, you do that. To try and charm him. Hold my beer. I die. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I don't know. I get six successes. Um, oh, God, I'm so fucking nearly dead. I'm grievously wounded. Uh, I perform a hold my beer action. So you've got to do another. What are you going to do? Um, double down, mate. Kiss, Kiss him the tongue. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm gonna start using tongue. tongue. Okay. Uh, he might be into it. Oh. Okay, so I die. <laughs> but before you do, yeah. you notice... Some rhinos uh, living in the folds of his skin. And they All look right, over lads. at you. Sorry. They look over at you. Hmm. 
What are you? I am, uh, hang on. I'm a, rever I'm a reverse beast master. And I was trying to make out with this giant mountain dude. That was very foolish. I know, but he tried to swallow me. I, listen, I'm gonna die now. I've been bitten a lot about the abdomen and he's punctured a lot of my organs. And I want you to do me one favor. Do you see, blah, 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 blah. don't think about it, just do it. Do you see down there, you see down there, that real piece of shit who looks like, in, in, in the tweed trousers. He's a penis. Swan of the, yeah, swan of the round like he owns the place. Look at that, carrying buckets of fire under each arm. I don't like him much at all. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just acknowledge that he's a shit. <laughs> <laughs> then so be it. <laughs> Brothers of the herd, listen to me. That man down there, total wanker. <laughs> the rhinos all sort of make rhino noises at the sky. Thank you, everyone, and now I die. <laughs> You, ru you rubbed him on his deathbed. <laughs> no, like I, I was, I, I was in two minds about about being like, go and help him, or, or just like, go yeah, kill him. yeah, go go and stand on his balls. <laughs> but yeah, just 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 agree with me that he's he's a piece of shit. The zookeeper right. eats him like a bite of pepper army. The rhinos sort of mourn his passing. Yeah. It was a momentous final act. It's all down to you, Giles. Um, so. We're in, like, a massive aviary, right? I'm going to assume there are a lot of suet balls around. Oh, tons. High fat content. Just want to get as many of those puppies blazing as humanly possible and just start kicking them sort of down the, down the path toward the gift shop. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Could this somehow involve chartered accountancy? Uh, There's a lot of them. Yes, I... Counting them while he's doing it. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I think I'm getting. That makes less sense than eating lawn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. I, I feel like I can calculate the loss the business is going to take mm -hmm. yes. for for the loss of all of these. Um, mm -hmm. And basically, I I sort of take the time to write it up on a note, like on some headed note paper from from the Birdheim sort of cafe. Like blah, blah, blah. it's going to cost you this much, this much, this much. Uh, the total show the that the cafe's called Owl Haller. <laughs> the, the totals show that uh, Al Halla, in fact, the entirety of Birdheim is going to go under because uh, these suet balls are going to eat so much into their margins. But then at the end, in a flourish of supreme self confidence, I write in cursive, but it'll be fine. And I underline it, sign it, and slap it down on the desk, and then just start kicking flaming balls of suet towards the gift shop. I like how those two actions aren't really connected. <laughs> I uh, I start lighting. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I actually like it. Okay, good. Yeah. So this is it. Everything is won or lost on this. This, you have nine dice. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Because you are very confident oh, yeah. in yourself, yep. you may have d6 more dice. Three. Sorry. So you have 12 dice. This is hold my beer. Okay. It's a 20 magnitude challenge. Ooh. Oh god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you only need four more, right? Yeah, but he's only... Can you Beast look? mode. Yeah. Six Roll more bones! <laughs> the beast has arisen! Oh my god, oh my god, oh beast my god, I can't look. Oh no! Ah! Ah! <laughs> One more! Come on! Beast mode. Beast, 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 beast! beast, beast. beast. Ah! Oh, crushing. I can't. Crushing. What's your score? You're one die away. You're two yeah. points off. Yeah, 18. You sprint, <laughs> kicking suet balls like a lunatic. You take a running jump and bounce off a hippo snout. You duck an orangutan as it swings past with a baseball bat. <laughs> the zookeeper is just screaming. The concussion of his roars are knocking down buildings left, right and centre anyway. You throw the last suet ball you have, and it rolls to an agonizing halt. 
two inches from the door of the gift shop, the snail comes out from behind a nearby bush <laughs> and pushes it the last two inches. Well done, folks. <laughs> You're dead though, right? You may be reverse Beastmasters, but I have to chip in in the end. Now let's get out of this fucking place. A helicopter descends from the sky. Are you dead? Um, I think so. I think yeah, so. Yeah, you certainly. must be. Then you can give the snail one final instruction. Oh, you're not dead, actually. No, I don't think I am. Actually. No, you're not dead. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Well, fine is relative. Well, I'm, I... You're stretchered into the helicopter by a couple of chimps. Um, you know, it may seem like a rescue, but you are essentially a slave to a snail now. Um, did you both survive? Mm -hmm. I'm one problem from death. <laughs> I'm doing pretty are we good. All, are we all? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. So, how many uh, how many white spaces did you have left on your problem track? Jesus. <laughs> uh, Twelve. <laughs> you won. <laughs> but in the end. The snail one, uh, but you all helped. You did it. You burnt down the zoo. The zookeeper batters his own head. Um, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> the rhino's okay. No. Oh shit. His fists oh, are. I didn't like you anyway. They're like icebergs. Uh, yeah. No, fair enough. So yeah. What so, happens to um the guy who writes the musicals? His name I've forgotten, and I keep referencing. Andrew, Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. He's inherited the ruins of the zoo. Um, together, him and the, the pigs will complete the great work and rise up to reclaim the surface. Ironically, they're going to build a new and worse zoo. Oh, no. Oh, he's moving into immersive theatre. <laughs> That's <laughs> so disappointing. Uh, but congratulations, uh, you won Reverse Beastmaster. Thank you for running. No. Thank you for writing, frankly. That yeah, was... thank you for writing. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was quite a journey. It happened. Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this, uh, Grant has done a lot more one-page yes. RPGs. I've done games. You can go to rrdgames.com and look at all of them. There's like 30-odd now. And there's some which aren't one-page, which are better. What are the names of some of the one-pages? Uh, Honey Heist, where you play a criminal bear with two stats, criminal and bear. Uh, Jason Statham's Big Vacation. My uh, favourite. You've got to make sure he has a nice holiday. Um, the Witch is Dead where it's a grindhouse murder spree, but you all play uh, little fluffy magical animals. And many more. And you've done some big books as well, haven't you? I've done some big books. This is a nice little interview, I like this. <laughs> yes, I've done some big Just books. pivoted to a feature. We've done, we done Spire, which is about, um, you play Dark Elf um, freedom fighters in a cell trying to overthrow a high elf government. Um, we're currently doing Heart, which is about investigating a nightmare underworld dungeon uh, for your own obsessions. What about you? Uh, I am and continue to be a, a rock, paper, shotgun person from over there, which you can't see because it's through a wall, but there's the office. Um, I've been Nate Crowley. Um, it's been a, a pleasure and uh, thanks to Dicebreaker for a lovely afternoon. We're yeah. all right. Thanks, Dicebreaker. Yeah, thank you for coming. This is really fun. And thank you for watching. If you still are, this has been Dicebreaker Plays Reverse Beastmaster, written by Nate Crowley and Grant Howard. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining us. If you enjoyed this, we've got plenty more videos for you to watch, which will be appearing at the bottom of the screen right now. You can also hit that big old subscribe button and then hit the bell icon so that you can see every single video that goes live. Frankly, most of them will not be anything like this. Thanks very much for watching Dicebreaker and have a lovely day. I, an ailing panther, command you to hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs>